I would agree it's an unfortunate phrase, the spirit of Francis, because it conjures up the phrase spirit of Vatican II calling for permanent revolution in the church. Cardinal-elect Victor Manuel Fernandez from Argentina, he seems to say he had no real concept of what was going on in the German synodal process while he was in, uh, in Argentina. I find that incredibly hard to believe. Luke, uh, did you also find that strange? Um, I, I took it almost as a, a sort of political statement, um, saying, sort of playing for time, really, just saying, I don't, I don't understand it, this process fully, and I'm going to need to look into it thoroughly. Um, I mean, I, I don't think he was saying that he had absolutely no knowledge of events in Germany uh, while being Archbishop, but I think he's saying, you know, please give me some time to reflect on this before I give a considered answer. Um, however, he did go on in several of the interviews to talk in depth about propositions um, that have been advanced by Germany's synodal way. So he's not a complete ingenue when it comes to this. He does in his interviews also criticise various aspects of the synodal way, uh, including the proposition to create a permanent synodal council of lay people and bishops to oversee affairs, the affairs of the, the German church. So so even even now, even before he's, he's, he's set a foot in his office, he's ruled out one of the essential components of the synodal way. The Vatican has in intervened numerous times in the synodal way, which um, took place between 2019 and March this year. So, uh, it, you know, effectively it's ended, uh, but its proposals uh, are continuing to be debated in the German church. So the Vatican uh, has uh, intervened with increasing um, strength, I think, in the, in the process to redirect it. Um, also, Pope Francis himself has criticise of increasing frankness aspects of the synodal way. So relations between Rome and Germany are actually pretty bad at this stage. Quote, moreover, we know that Francis does not like excessive structures, and he he has always resisted that everything must become a canonical norm. Perhaps they still need to better understand the spirit of Francis. We all need to understand him better, close quote. I find that very fascinating, Spirit of Francis. Now, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Luke. I am very prone to read too much into that. Uh, my, my, I have, a, I have a, a big temptation to just read way too much into the Spirit of Francis statement here. What did Fernandez mean by that? I would agree it's an unfortunate phrase, the spirit of Francis, because it conjures up the phrase spirit of Vatican II, which, as we know, um, was an attempt to separate the actual documents of Vatican II from uh, this sort of idea of perm that it was calling for permanent revolution in the church. Um, so it's an unfortunate turn of phrase. But he was saying it um, in an interview with a Spanish online newspaper, and he was making the point that um, the German synodal way and Pope Francis uh, are at odds over whether the church can be renewed through structural changes. Um, and I think this is a really big point that he's 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 making. So Fernandez is saying Pope Francis is, is looking primarily for a, 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 a spiritual renewal, uh, a renewal that isn't uh, conducted by creating new committees to, to look at this church teaching or that church teaching uh, and then re report back to an assembly in a bureaucratic way. Um, he... He's saying that the Germans fundamentally misunderstand uh, what Pope Francis means by reform here. So I think that's that's the sort of the, the big takeaway from this comment, um, which you know I think we're sort of distracted by his reference to, to spirit of, of of the spirit of Pope Francis. But the, the meaning here is that he he doesn't agree with quite a lot of what the Germans are not always proposing. So I think that's the, the big takeaway from that that particular comment. All right. So let me ask you about the Fernandez five steps that you detail in your article. Can you take us through those? Sure. So th this is this is my sort of rough summary of of what he's saying uh, overall about the synodal way. And I think the, the first point is that he says that he's not fully informed about the synodal way. You know, so don't don't take these comments as being his final opinion uh, uh, on the on the German movement. Um, second, he he thinks that there there are some legitimate concerns that the synodal way is expressing um, uh, among all the other sort of things that he doesn't agree with. Um, and I think specifically he mentions the area of women's role in the church. So he feels that the global synodal process might also address this legitimate concern um, here. Um, third, he, he thinks that there are, however, quite a lot of things in a synodal way that are wrong or that just uh, don't conform to the church's self-understanding. And the thing that he highlights is this proposal for a synodal council uh, of lay people and bishops that would permanently govern uh, the, the Catholic Church in Germany, which is uh, totally at odds with, with uh, canon law and the church's 
um, tradition. Um, fourth, he thinks that this process of listening will enable him to work out what's good in the process and what's bad within it. Uh, and he wants to take what's good and suggest what he calls various alternative paths that would address these concerns, uh, at least to some degree, um, but in a way that's in line with the church's self-understanding. Um, and fi fifth and finally, he's, he's really confident that this movement won't end in schism, that the leaders are, as I said, smart enough not to uh, lead to a split in the church. So uh, he's quite sanguine overall that this will be sort of the church is able to handle this uh, particular moment in in of, of, of crisis in in its life. Well, I, again, I I'm not as trusting as he is, and uh, what a tragedy it would be if he turns out to be wrong about that. Uh, especially since uh, we could have done something to head this thing off and prevent that before it ever happened. The church doesn't need yet another schism. College you is. Did you like that video? It's okay. You can admit it. It's perfectly fine. Hey, we cover the big stories of our day from inside the church to outside the church to all points in between. And we do it from a Catholic perspective. It's called a Catholic take. It's a radio program Monday through Friday. We live stream it right here on this channel, by the way. So make sure to subscribe, like, and share. We would be very grateful to you. And don't forget, you're going to want to watch this video right here because you don't want to miss anything.